Hey, it's Joe Glass, Biotometer. And in this quick video here, I'm going to talk to should you be converting your current auto hockey scripts to V2? So we all probably know now V1 is deprecated. That is sounds more ominous than it really is. But in this video, I'm going to talk to you about, you know, who should convert their scripts, who shouldn't, and why, right? So to start off, I have, I just did a count, I have 13,217 auto hockey files. That's not even counting backups. That's just those are the scripts on my computer. Those are all V1 currently. The thing is, V2 doesn't run more efficiently. There's no big benefits of actually converting the code and having it be more efficient. And as a matter of fact, there's a lot of libraries that aren't even available in V2. So why would someone consider switching? Well, one, V1's deprecated. The second one is V2, when you learn it V2, now it's going to take you a little learning curve, and we do have a course which is half off right now. I'll put the URL up here if you're interested to you know, baby step you into V2. But V2, once you adapt to it and learn it, it's going to be simpler to program in. So you're going to save time developing your code, not run your code running. It's not going to run faster. It's the development of your code that's going to be faster. And here's the thing. If you already have your code written out, that's the time savings you'd get. So why would you convert it? Because you can easily have V1 and V2 installed in your computer. So with the installer thing that comes with AutoHotKey, it makes it very simple. I do recommend make sure you have the requires command uh, directive in every one of your files and mentioning right now, if you haven't converted yet, mention the requires v1. It's simple. We have a script. I'll put it up in here. It'll go through all your files and append that thing to the beginning, um, telling it what version of auto hockey it, it requires. That's simple because if you haven't switched to v2, they're all v1 right now. So um, give it some thought. Tell me what you think. Here are two conditions where you really might consider switching your current scripts. One is you just want to learn V2, right? So if you have a handful of scripts, um, and that's really the main case, when you have a handful of scripts and you want to learn V2, use the converting of V1 to V2 process to learn how to use V2, right? Otherwise, I just don't think it's really worth it. I'm sure not converting. We're going to convert a handful of our scripts, but not many. Uh, and so there's really no reason because you can still have V1 and V2 on your systems, and again, there's no real benefit of it being any more efficient. So um, I hope that helps you. If you enjoyed something here or learned something, I'd really appreciate it. If you liked the video, it really helps us out. We get a lot more views from people like our videos. And comment below if you're switching to V2. Um, if this has helped you in any way, I'd love to hear it. Have a great day. Cheers.